So now I have to do my calculations in order to figure out how much metal I need for my cast. So I've got my phone because I want to do it with, um, I'm not a head math girl, so I like to have a calculator just to be able to do what I'm doing. So initially when I uh, weighed my rubber stopper by itself, I got 62 grams. And when I weighed it with the model, I had 70 grams. So I need to subtract 62 from the 70, which would leave me eight grams of, uh, um, of wax. And that actually is both your model and sprues, okay? Then what I wanna do is I actually need to figure out which uh, type of metal I am going to cast with and I need to find the specific gravity of that metal. So now that I have how much my uh, wax is, and again, it's the model and the sprues, I've got eight grams when I subtracted those two amounts from earlier. I need to actually go back and reference my slide presentation because I need the specific gravity of the metal that I'm casting with. Um, in our classroom, we only have availability of casting with silver, pewter, or gold because the other metals take too high a melting point and we do not have the right equipment for casting those other metals. So I'm actually going to use silver for this example. So I'm going to take my eight grams and I'm going to multiply it times 10.4 and I'm just writing this down so that I've got proof of my work. Um, and that is not in grams, that's actually an atomic um, weight that they're using. So I need to take eight and multiply it times 10.4, which gives me 83.2. So I'm gonna write down 83.2. Um, and then I actually have to multiply, if we take a look at our um, calculation sheet here, the next thing that I have to do is multiply times uh, 20%. So if I take an initial 100%, that would be the one that you're seeing and the 20% is the 0.2. So if I take my 83.2 times 1.2, I'm going to add 20% so that I account for any kind of loss. I want to end up um, with a button on the bottom of my piece. And in order to do that, I actually have to add that 20%. So I'm going to take this calculation times 1.2 and that leaves me with 99.84 grams is what I would have to have in silver to cast that really ugly piece that did not have any filing or sanding done on it.